Bryn is the older sister of three siblings. They're rescued by Jake. And then, you know, what's the word that I'm looking for? Chaos ensues after that. <laughs> It was pretty crazy stepping on set for the first time. Um, I have adored most of these people for a long time. Even John Cena, I used to watch him wrestle when I was younger, so it, it's been pretty crazy and meeting them all was nerve wracking, but it's, it's been good. They're all great and like funny and awesome. When I first read the script, I fell in love with the uh, siblings. And uh, I also fell in love with Jake's character. It's really sweet to kind of see him soften up throughout the film. Today, we covered uh, John Cena and the kids in some bubbles, which was really hilarious to see. Every day, something hilarious happens where we like can't contain our laughter. So it's been good, <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing about this movie is that it kind of tells you in a way that you can pick and choose who you want your family to be to some extent, and you can kind of make your own family if you feel like you need that support. Um, so I hope that that idea, the idea of family, resonates with people and that they feel like, you know, um, they can find family and friendship. Playing with Fire is a fun story about three kids who are a little wild and they are rescued from a burning cabin by these smoke jumpers who then have to figure out how to take care of them and kind of tame them a little bit. I think I loved Bryn so much because she's very wise and mature for her age. Um, for the most part, she's been looking after her siblings for the past like two years and um, I don't know, I think there's like a specific kind of kid, you know, that grows up with a lot of responsibilities like that. And um, I think it'll be fun for them to see themselves on screen in this way, you know. The underlying message of the film is that whether or not you have a perfect family, which a lot of people don't, um, you can always choose to make your own uh, from the people that you love in your life. My experience with John has been great. Um, I was actually kind of nervous about it because I watched him wrestle when I was young. So I was like, is he gonna think that's weird? <laughs> um, but one thing that surprised me about him is actually just his discipline, like with himself. He's a little like his character, Jake, in the sense that he's really disciplined and he takes the time to teach himself so many things. Like he taught himself how to speak Mandarin and like t is teaching himself how to play the piano currently in his trailer, <laughs> which is crazy to me, <laughs> just between shots. So yeah, those are some fun facts. Playing with Fire is just a feel good movie. You know, it, it deals with kind of tragic circumstances sometimes, but there's always a, a funny joke or a perfectly timed joke to bring you up right when you need it. and. The characters kind of support each other in that way too. Like when they're going through things, they're always there for each other, ready to crack a joke and lift, lift their spirits, you know? So yeah, I think people will just like it because it's a feel good movie.